Alright uh, guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. So we, me and Ken both did some respecking. So we've kind of solidified a, a, our little rules a little bit better. So um, so before I was like, I was asking Ken uh, rudely, I, I said basically like, I'm like, why are you investing into initiative on FM? And, uh, and so he was like, uh, oh, don't know what else to do. So we kind of, we kind of looked into it a little bit because we were like, I was just, after the fight, we, uh, we were just curious. And, um, so summoners, nothing they have actually scales based upon intelligence. Even uh, the healing I have. Even the healing. The healing is actually based upon your level and your uh, hydro whatever fucking skill. Your hydro skill. I'm just going to call it a hydro skill. Because I, you know, hydro I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Hydro pump. Fucking squirrel will go. Um, so th we've learned that. So in terms of for us, a, a pure summoner. So the way Candace playing it, so he has like um, we we did we discussed some options. Like we were like, oh, so like what if what if Effen uses like a, a one-handed dagger or something maybe to hit things occasionally? And Ken is like, well, I'm playing him as a as a support. And I'm like, well, that's that's fair. That's actually pretty good. Like you just you place a you place a totem. You you do a couple buffs. You know you invest more into the summoning skill, which. Summons scale based upon caster level and summoning skill, not based upon anything else. So we're like, oh, okay. So, so really, realistically, for summoners in this game, they do not scale at all based upon any kind of stats, really. So it's just like, you know, you have constitution to increase, hit tankiness, um, uh, and then like whatever you need for gear. And, and obviously his wand does do in damage, but it's it's not a physical wand. There's no physical wands in the game, I think. It's just all elemental damage. So he doesn't use it because we're a, we're a physical party. I'm, I'm sure at some point there, like, there will be some cases where it's maybe useful, but but yeah. And we also experimented with like just having him use a shield and not, not a weapon, but it's the, the, the trait that he's using, which is to only have one weapon and then get like free, oh, sorry, not free, but like uh, reduce costs of things like scrolls and grenades. That thing requires the offhand to be free, so they they, they thought of this already. So, uh, as I said, um, so because of the fact no one is using int gear, uh, Kand is just leveling int as much as he needs it for the gear. He, he's getting, we've now decided he's going to get enough initiative to basically not override Sabeel, because we want Sabeel to go first, and then him to do buffs, and then uh, and then D fucking beast and red prince don't matter they're just like whatever so that's kind of how we've planned this out um just telling you guys how that works so he's respect the initiative out of beast uh apparently red prince still has 15 initiative how how does he have 15 initiative from wits and from gear 11 from wits and i i know from wits i have uh some there so i i have not invested anything into red prince for initiative at all. So Sabiel is back well, up to I that's coming from. Huh? Wait, what are you what are you wanting is what just wondering where that plus five is coming from. For for who? Me? Yeah. I just told you, I said, um it says here uh oh, for yeah, wits yeah. eleven and my wits is plus one because I think it's cause I have my Yoshi. And then my gear gives me four. So Yeah, okay. I'm saying yeah, it now, plus yeah. two initiative, yeah. That's why. It's the it's just the gear he has. I haven't really been paying attention to his gear. Uh, trust me, I didn't put any points into it because I didn't want him to do crits. Uh, also, can found a bow, uh, which is like uh, gives ten critical chance, and then also we found a axe that that was in like a chest I grabbed earlier on the way back up. It was like uh, it was like down here or something. I don't know where it was. We were out, it was on my way back. It was off camera, so I, I just picked it up. I'm like, yeah, we'll get it later. We opened the chest and it was just an axe there. For him, so I put that in. So that's it. So we're good. So that's kind of how we're doing it. So, I mean, she's Sabiel's not going crazy into crits, but she's like, it's more about the initiative for her. And I, I, I didn't really do anything different in terms of like, um, like I know it's an option to do, uh, what is it called, scoundrel, which is more critical multiplier. But like, she doesn't need the movement. And critical multiplier is that really better than warfare, which is just you know more physical damage. And also, I have that talent that gives me health based upon the amount of warfare I've I've kind of invested into it. This game is very weird because it's like, why would you? It, it 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 makes no sense to me, like how they scale this stuff. Like it doesn't it 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 feels so weird to be summoning a bow person based upon warfare, but it's the thing that makes the most sense. It's kind of dumb. Let's just go to the house because uh, we're. Uh, 
There's fucking frogs. Oh my god, you're ugly. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts my ego. Look, look what he fucking told me. What did he tell you? Yeah, fucking look. It hurts my feelings, man. <laughs> you turn milk green and a magister's red coat black. My mistress Alice might fancy you, though. She has a taste for the odd. If she ever makes it back. Ask what happened to its mistress. The magisters with the red coats chased her into the woods. They'll be sorry. Brat. Brat. Alright, uh, what's the what's the sign say? Here be witchery. Trespass not. Uh I love witchery. Ah, oh, it's locked. Guess who has the key? One one sec, well, I want to try something. Oh. Uh, there's like a hole in the roof, but I can't, I'm not allowed to go into it. Alright, well, let's go in. So that'll be illegal. Lavender and charred flesh. Ill illegal. It's almost homely. Almost. Uh, I'm going into the cellar. Actually, there's a witch's eye. Oh, fuck. Is that her eye? D did she pluck out her own eye? <laughs> you know where that's going, right? Delicious. Yeah. Actually, can't can Sibyl eat it? I, I mean, can she? Combi no, you just combine it with something. Oh, that's locked too. Yeah. I, I need some help there, buddy. Can't. Well, I can't do. I. I. I can't do anything with it. So. so. Uh, master of unlocking. Oh shit! You got it. All right. There's some shit. Okay. So there's. We met the violin. There's the. A rivet called Zbz. There's a rabbit. Uh, a rat in that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. Rats. Ow. Well, oh, these these rats actually hurt you. What the fuck? Okay, let me just give it a good old save, Rooney. <laughs> the rats are the trap. Yeah, they appear to be. They cast ghost. Uh, sure. Look for shot. Look how many fucking rats there are. And that door is locked there, so... Uh... I know what you need. I mean, I can... I can... I can hurt the rats. I can shoot them on the ground. They have a lot of health, though. And they're hard to hit. I mean, how am I supposed to get to the door? It has level 2 lockpicking. Beasts oh, does take it? One for the Beasts gonna have to take one for the team. Get in there, boy. You can teleport him Which in. Which door do you want? Um, the one on the right? Oh, yeah, it's the only door. Oh, Beast really has got to take one for the team, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> and it's not safe in there, dude! Right now, I can I can get him closer. I mean, Sibyl can tactical retreat into there, so... <laughs> ah! Alright, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I got this. It's not safe, dude! No, Alright, Sibyl's, Sibyl's got this. She was born for this moment. She's just gonna die. She's fine. All right, let me give her a teleporter pyramid. Actually, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Can you give her? Can you give her your teleporter pyramid? <laughs> Why? What am I gonna give up my toys? I don't know. Cause <laughs> reasons. I right, gave it to Sabiel. I want it back in pristine condition, though. All right. Do you even want to come here? I don't think you want to come here, because I'll just go back. Sure, just give me the thing and I'll wait. Yeah, let me give it back to you. Yeah, because it's like, uh... Let me give it to you, FN. I mean, there's a lever over there. Did you pull the lever? Uh, that's a very good point. Where's the lever? Maybe this is the reason you should probably be here. Oh, that one? No, I didn't press that. I, can, I mean, you can make that your adventure, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to, uh... I'm gonna talk to the, the frog. Oh, you won't take it off me! You won't take it off me! Ask what you won't take it off. Off it. The book! Alice's book! You won't take it off me! Yeah, that's fucking weird. It's like some... You did it? What, what opened? 
I don't know. A medium fire resistance potion. We could probably use that for an upcoming fight. At some point. Nah. Crazy. What do you even do? <laughs> I could just I'm just I'm exterminating right now. Oh you the door opened, that's what you did. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna give you some slime and avoid woken spike. Medium Intel Hente potion. Well nobody needs that, so you can just sell that. Or if you need to make an intelligence check. Uh I mean we could keep it for that reason actually. That's that's not a bad idea. See, I'm smart. <laughs> Clearly too many too many uh, intelligence potions for you. Witch's potion. Lucky find. Alright, what does this do? Effects unknown. Uh, okay, I guess we could try and drink that. I'll, I'll come with you first. Oh, shit! We've got spider legs now. Spider legs burst from your back. You can, you can create web surfaces in a tangle. I'm gonna just, um... Who wants to learn it? Me or... Beast? I don't know, but as a holy, I'm destroying it. Should, should I learn spider legs? What does spider legs, uh, do again? Uh, it makes spider legs burst and you can make web surfaces. This is the thing I was saying that you, we could have done. Have it. Yeah, we can counter the evasion with that. Alright. Let's see here. Chicken claw. Let's remove this and put on. Where's spider legs? Kind of curious on how this works. Okay, that's weird. And you can make a web. Great. Oh, I'm hasted on that. How many AP points does that cost? It's one for each. And it's incompatible with wings. Oh, oh shit. God. Oh, it explodes after you're done. No, I stepped on it because I'm on fire and I stepped on it. Turned to fire. Sorry. What are you doing though, Source Hunter? Alright, let me continue to give crafting items to Beast. What are you fucking picking up right now? <laughs> Potion bottles and garlic? Yeah, I mean, that's what I was giving you this whole time, actually. Rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> you never know when you'll need it, I guess. Alright. I'm going back to you. I mean, there's also a hole in there that I half destroyed. Okay. I, I want to save it, I want to drink this witch's potion. It's worth 1,000. Like, we could sell this thing. But what does it do? Alright, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna see. This smells disgusting. <coughs> Down the hatch. I am a cow. Constitution plus three. Quest RC D DF witch potion. Can't cast, attack, or interact with objects. The character is smelly. Was it worth it? I mean, I'm I'm literally a cow. I cannot do anything. <laughs> but you know, follow me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're a cow now. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll load it. Hang on, hang on. Chicken, Chicken form. Oh God, damn it! Can't test that because if I can get uh, back, if I can get your armor off. Oh, here's what it's I missed. Cool down though. It's fine. I'll just keep hitting him. Yeah. <laughs> it's on cooldown. Okay, I'll keep. I'll keep it going. Actually, I don't What's... think it. Oh, yeah, it does go back here. I just keep going. Well, critical. This is oh critical. This is wits. Yeah. All right, it's a two round cooldown. <laughs> One round left. But hear him again. Alright. <laughs> Wait, does that actually send him... put him back? Let's find out. Remember that one time you were a cow? Now you're smelly. <laughs> Wait, now he just has permanent smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can cure that with soap. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna load that, because that, that potion's worth actually like 1,000, so... There's probably something you can do with that, that isn't yeah. just drinking it yourself. 
But hey, if anyone needs to know how to cure that, you can turn it into a chicken. I mean, yeah, yeah, we have the solution right there. Fucking polymorph. But do, you, do you want to be permanently smelly? <laughs> you mean more than I already am? You laugh, but there's a fetish for that. Uh, of course there is. Fetish for everything. Fetish for red pots, yeah. I'm sure. It's called Yoshi's. It's a fetish for, like, Red Prince, like, taking Beast out for a dinner. <laughs> I don't need to say any more than that, really. DeviantArt, get on that. <laughs> oh, shit. You can't just invoke DeviantArt like that, man. Uh, I can and I will. Alright, well, that, that was, that was, um, quite adventurous. But we we can, we cannot be in chicken form or sorry cow form. <laughs> Remember that one time that Efen summoned his incarnate during. <laughs> I remember lots of things. All right. Let's go find this witch. She might be able to tell us what the f why the why she has a fucked up potion. Well, I'm trying to debate on where I want to go. Recur recurve crossbows. Okay, they suck. I don't suck though. There's branches and shit here. I'm just not taking any of this. I mean, I got some mushrooms, but like one of those crossbows is worth a lot, so I'll grab it in a second. Hey, a tatted tome. Yeah, what the hell? Why is it worth so much? I like, how, like, how you even, shit. I like how you have an eye for this stuff. Did you expect a needle? <laughs> I mean, it's what I do. Hey, what I, the fuck? Let me see that tome. A what tome? There's a tome up there. Tattered tome. Oh, is it inside the building? It might be. Yeah. I'll, I'll go actually to it right now. I can... Yeah, it's inside the building. I, I found something. Oh, we found a fucking thing here, too. Right, let me give it a good old saver rooney because we've... Actually, no, I saved before that, so... Yeah, we're fine. Just having PTSD now from, like, having to save. Yeah, 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 I know. I mean... Oh, a sack and oh, sawtooth dude. knife skill book. Oh, scoundrel stuff. Yeah, pierces the enemy's physical armor and directly deals such and such damage. Um, sets bleeding if the enemy has no physical armor. That's actually kind of good, actually. Okay, the game is bread coming me real hard right now because I keep I keep chasing these <laughs> bread crumbs. I'm getting so far away. I equip these. What? Why doesn't it equip them? Oh, it it counted as equipped. Uh, one handed. Did you check mace. the big book in here? I probably didn't. I, there's a weapon here, but I think it's crap. And I will let you decide what to do with this. I mean, the the skill isn't bad, actually. It's bonus attack and bonus from strength too. But I mean, it's I'll give it to Ethan. You saw it if you don't want it. I have the gloves on right now, right? Yes, I do. So, where are you at? You went over there? Uh, it was a potions book. It was like, I realized there was a book in there that I didn't look at, so I looked at it. Okay. The fuck. F and there's Fe Ferno. I want I want to talk to Ferno. Ferno is diseased, though. What? Oh, I'd give up my wings for a spite from this pestilence. Something about this bird seems oddly familiar. Ask what species it is. A rare... Uh... Highly prized breed called, uh, oh, I can't quite recall. This cursed sickness has scrambled my memories. I can't think straight. I uh, question the bird about its condition. My feathers are molting. My wings can't carry me anymore. I feel so cold. All I can think about is warmth. It painstakingly attempts to flap its wings to no effect. You catch a glimpse of its weak little torso. A faint glow emits from within it, like a cooling ember. I up the bird's feathers, the curve of the beak, and say that you're quite certain that it's a phoenix. It needs to burn itself in order to feel better. A phoenix? Cut back on whatever you're drinking. I'm in no mood to be made fun of. Not in this condition. I'd know if I was a phoenix. Uh, so that phoenixes wither in bo both body and mind as they age. Fire will rejuvenate its body and restore its memories of its true self. The bird stares at you for a long moment. 
All right, do it. Burn me. But may the flames consume you too if you're wrong about this. All right, I got I got a fire spell. <laughs> yeah, fire spell. Uh What the fuck happened? Is Is it dead? <laughs> it died. Oh, there a you go. Phoenix egg. Oh, let me. Uh I mean, you want to save first in case. I mean, there might be a summon for me, man. Fine. I mean, can you even talk to it? Let's okay. find out. An egg, a phoenix egg. Egg is warm to touch, but not from the ashes. The warmth comes from deep within the egg. Examine the egg more closely. The egg is smooth and glossy dark, like some rare volcanic mineral. From deep within its core, a fiery glow pulsates, almost like a heartbeat. Wonder aloud what you could do with such a rare fire. This creature is born of fire. Eat it, and you might gain some of its power. A what? rare find could come in handy at some point. I mean, that's the feel in a nutshell, isn't it? Like, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Gotta eat it. Hmm. Hmm. What what should we do? Delta <laughs> secret for an emperor, eat it. <laughs> I don't take such a bounty, I'm gonna no. This egg was born of fire itself and it earned a place in this world. I'm gonna keep it safe with me. This egg was born of fire itself. It's <laughs> earned its place in this world. I'm going to keep it safe with me. So I place the egg in your satchel. So you go. <laughs> Oh, well, it's because you got to talk to it. I, yeah. I guess you get a phoenix summon at some point. Or something. Maybe. I mean, I, I, my instinct. I, I'm totally not looking it up on my phone right now. Okay, I'm just kind of curious. The ugly little bird. If, if, you, if you eat it, you will learn to skill phoenix dive. That's kind of <laughs> worthless, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. I, I can buy that book, it's fine. Um, and then you can decide to keep it or eat it. Uh, either way, the, uh, note that you can't choose to eat the egg later on once you picked it up. It's my egg now. I guess it'll turn into a real phoenix at some point. Does it say that it will? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say anything about it. I don't know. Whatever. Well, we'll, we'll see. just keep with you. Maybe, maybe you get to sell it. Is this something that you have that's sellable? It is sellable. It does have value. Uh, I, mean, I think that's what you're supposed to do, actually. Is you just sell it. I mean, how much does it sell for? It, it sells for 2500 Uh. I mean, either one. Lost purse, dude. Lost purse. Hold alt. Oh, there. Oh, shit. Let's do that. I mean, it's literally, uh... It has eight gold it's in it. Money? Yeah. Oh, man, eight gold! Alright, uh... I'm gonna go up to Driftwood Field, just so we get the waypoint. And then we can continue down to the 420 herb area. Alright, let me just chill around here, then. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's up there. Could be anything. Oh, there's a fucking barrel here. Oh, you missed the barrel. Oh, dude! Oh, dude, the, the contents are amazing. I mean, you missed a basket back there, I had to loot that. Yeah, go ahead. In fact, you walked right by a barrel, you bad kid. I, I, that's, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. You mean the barrel that I was looking at? I don't know. No, the other barrel. Don't try and fight your way out of this. I, I don't give a shit. You'll lose, kiddo. Before you, a statue reaches her arms blindly for the sun to yeah, as you how step closer to the statue. Alright, so we have now this waypoint. So this is, um... Black Moon Island Bridge, but we're not going oh, to go there. Oh, dude, is that Death Fog? It is. Oh, God, gross. Death Fog? Fucking Death Fog. Oh, shit. Dude, that's fucking... That's Super Mario to the extreme. Fucking jumping... Oh, this is probably where Effin fuck, fucked everything up, though. But we'll go there later. But we'll, we'll, uh... We'll, we'll open the fucking closet of skeletons for Efan some other time. We're, we're, we're gonna okay, go. Okay, I guess I'll resist looting those barrels, so come back later. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll be here. I just wanted to get the waypoint, but we're gonna continue up upward this Actually, way. Actually, can I have my teleporter pyramid back? I, I gave it to you. Yeah, you do I have it. I believe you, fucking liar. You you have it. Give it to Ethan. No, I don't. Okay, if I teleport, up, if I teleport to you. Uh, there's a fucking troll here. Mar Mark the troll. Oh, dude. Can we not pay the bridge fine again? Can we just teleport around? I mean, I, I'll probably convince him. It's fine. Alright, good luck. Human skeleton. Godspeed. Alright. Oh, hello there. A fine day it is. And the finest day for a wee saunter through the trees it is too. Not even any void woken left to spoil it. Agree and ask him how the fine day is treating him. Oh. Just the best. Just the bee's knees, really. I've made more money today than in the last month combined. Thanks to a group of magisters who were in such a hurry they didn't have time to haggle. Hurrying magisters? I wonder what they were in such hot pursuit of. Some sorcerer who fled by earlier. And she paid a handsome toll too. Glory, what a marvelous day. Nod and move to uh, across the bridge past him. Whoa, not so fast. What are his stats actually? Kind of curious. Oh, 6,000 health. I do yep. try to be nice about it and all that. But this bridge is Marge's business. Since it is such a fine day, I can let you pass at a discount if you entertain me with tales of valiant void woken battle. Otherwise, Full price. That's three coins. Three gold. Smile and say you've lost count of all the void woken you've slain recently. Wide eyed, Marge nods in appreciation at your tale. Now that is a story. For that, you can pass for a pittance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's just pay the gold. Know. And be sure <laughs> to appreciate the bewitching views as you cross my magnificent bridge. I wish you would have bet he doesn't let me cross. Alright, have fun. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yep! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just, just, just move, just move, cro just move across it. So, uh, sure, I just. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll give some tips instead. You're a bridge guarding expert. <laughs> Marge listens to your expert advice, nodding along all the while. Well now, that is some excellent oh. advice. Thank you. For you, the toll is a pittance. Over you go, <laughs> and be sure to appreciate the bewitching views as you cross my magnificent bridge. Well, you managed to find a, find a way across too, without having a teleporter pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Why did they make See, it like I... so cheap? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> it's like I think it's, it's like yeah, free gold. Because right. like if it's like if it's like a hundred gold, be like no, I'm not paying a hundred gold. But like no three, <laughs> bro. I'm not paying three gold. What the fuck is this? Some rip off. Right. Oh man, dude, there's some bears over here. They're cutting the. These are their beehives. Oh, dude, I want to fucking talk to them. And there's also a fucking source point to eat. Bears ahead. Oh, uh, I have, uh, I have gifts for you. Bears, looks like. Empty honey jars. Alright, eh. You want some honey? Yeah, can I do? Oh. Uh, ask if you can try their particularly scented honey. Good God, I bet. Ask the bear where the bees have gone. Bees are dead. Bees are dead. Bees are bees dead. Good thing too, cause uh, honey. <laughs> the honey. Bog off. <laughs> he sounds fucking British. <laughs> Bog off. Um. Uh, note that this the honey smells odd. Best honey ever. Makes a bear feel good. So bog off. Sours. Sour honey. Alright, uh, here's the thing. It gave me some shit for the... To, to get the honey. But... They're here, obviously. Now I'd notice if you try to take some money. Yeah, I maybe. 
I mean, I don't really want to fight level 13 bears, but, you know. I don't want to fight bears in particular, I just stick and stay. I mean, but the thing is, it's particularly special honey, so. Uh, I'm just looking around this place. Alright, well, where do you want to go? Well, I guess we'll... I feel like there's more to this, that's the thing. Just some bears enjoying some honey, you know, why are we gonna... We're I'm, gonna hawk that I'm, buzz. I mean, they literally gave me jars right beside it. Like, it's like they wanted me to do this. Like, they wanted me to fucking fight. Yeah, maybe you're a bad guy, but you're a hero, Mike. Piety. Humility. I'm a bad man. And a hero, at the same time. I'm fucking, like, you know... Hero flute or whatever the fuck. Whatever, fine. We'll leave him alone. You're an anti-hero. Hey! Why did I just pick that up? Because it's a water barrel, you dingus. Uh... Clearly, you, you've you've experienced this before. Hey, look, there's there, there's some nice high ground to shell the fucking bears from. You know, a barrel. It's important. It's it's making it real tempting. Let me tell you that. All this for some honey? Oh God, Mike. I yeah, it's not. Let me just tell you, as a dungeon master, you'd be so easy to bait. <laughs> yeah, dude, you see some bears eating some honey. It smells like kind of weird, but like it could like you see like a magic bull next to it. Like, hey, I want the honey. Fucking yeah, <laughs> but they, the it literally, they literally are saying that the honey looks weird. It, it's it's a special honey that makes them feel good. Special honey. <laughs> They're also bears. Uh, there's a fucking someone here. I don't know who the fuck this is. Level thirteen, dude. Hey, what's going on? You're not gonna make a really hard a fight for us, are you? Dead woman, unmasked, surveys the ground around her, seeking something. Suddenly. Her head swivels, and she trains an imperious gaze upon you. She has a lot of uh, skill bucks. And I was actually thinking of getting skin, skin graft at one point. Resets all cooldowns, removes burning, necker fire, poison, bleeding. That shit's amazing, I think, but we'll see. We will see. What side do you take? What side do we take? Her voice is clipped and detached, with metallic overtones. It even seems to echo. As if she's speaking to you from very far away. Uh, side of what? She cocks her skull to one side with a nightmarish creak. Though her shiny visage is completely devoid of emotion, you sense confusion in her manner. Confusion and more than a little scorn. Quick now, quickly. Do you support Divine Order or Black Ring? Uh... Of course I support the ring, or... I only support myself. So long as you do not pledge allegiance to the ring, we can talk. Perhaps even trade. I have books, though I hate to part with them. And you, hopefully, you have something I want. Alright, well, who are, who are you? Ithne is... was my name. She slaps her face violently as she corrects herself, dislocating her loose jawbone and powdering the earth beneath her feet with bone dust. I am, was, a librarian in arcs for the glory of the Order. The ring came, burnt my library to the ground. My books, they are all I have, all I had. I had to save them, the flames. There was no making it out alive. But as the, the fire caught my magical scrolls, they all turned to a rain of glittering ash. I awoke covered in it, and here I stand. Uh, why should she mask herself? That would be prudent if I wanted to stay alive, or whatever it is that I am now. Survival is not something that interests me any longer. Not in this form. Suddenly, she leans towards you with an unnerving creak. Enough about that. I'm traveling as I look for a particular book. A tome to teach me how to make corpses explode. Would you have anything like that I could learn from? Uh, why does she want a book like that? She scuffs one boot in the ashen dust at her feet and gazes off to the far horizon. For my collection? Mm, promise to find the book if she tells the truth about why she wants it. She opens and closes her jaw several times before deciding to speak. 
She dusts off her tunic as she confides in you, leaving a musty scent lingering in the air, like an old attic piled high with mildewed paper. I spent years alone in a study researching the afterlife. I don't want this shadow existence. What is this world but a training ground for the next? What is this decaying body but the tool to get me there? I have almost everything I need to go. I just need that book. Okay. What's she willing to give for this book she seeks? Money. Plenty of it. That's what the living care about, yes? Uh, okay, hold on. Death is not the answer. She stares at you blankly. Empty sockets seeming to stretch into the farthest reaches of oblivion. You do not know the question. I am already dead. My body is an anomaly. Crack open your rucksack, you will look. Have a look. Mind you, don't tear any pages now. So, she wants exploding corpse book. I, I know the skill, though, but... Yeah. Hey, you, you know you can Probably get... Town. You know you can get Dominate Mind, but it, 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 it's really... Block by but, Yeah. I, I would have already had it otherwise. I mean, sometimes that they don't have... If they have low magic armor, it could still work. Gives all summons around you status and prevents them from dying from damage. Oh, uh, that's two source points for that? Fucking hell. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, they got, she also has some necromancer stuff. Living on the edge. Black Shroud. Create a cloud of cursed smoke in the area, setting suffocating blind to everyone in it. Yeah, it's fucking... Whatever. And most of this is, like, whatever. Increases physical armor by four, uh, 84 armor and another 84 armor for each corpse in the area around you. Yeah, fuck that. She has a lot of scrolls, though. And resurrection scrolls, actually, so I'll let you talk to her. There's really nothing else uh, I really care about. You know what I'm looking for. Come back to me if you find it. Okay. I look forward to having to do that entire dialogue for myself. Yep. Well, I mean, you just skim through it. What's the black root plant there that we need? Find it. Oh yeah, it is here. Oh, I can only touch it. Harvested. See what it's skin graft? You said. Yeah. Do you want me to buy it? Uh, I, I don't need it. Okay, so that's all we needed was the fucking plant. I guess so. Well, there's more stuff here, isn't there? Huh? Oh, yeah. Ah, there's a, also a waypoint here. I'm gonna get that. Maybe I'll go back to the fucking thing and see if I can get that bullshit going. This is a very, uh... Oh, there's a fight going on here with Haneg. Alright. Let me go make my way over. You can just teleport into the fight if it actually if a fight actually breaks out. There's some Dragon Ball sh Z shit going on right now. Wait, let's give it a save a Rooney before we, uh... Before I trigger something I'm not supposed to. What the fuck is it going on here? Magisters. Uh, there's Magisters here. Okay. You wanna join us? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll, I'll just go grab skin graft and I'll come over. Okay. Drag Ball Z, man. Uh, probably should be ending the fight soon, but this it shouldn't take that long. Oh, this is actually the person, actually. I think. Uh, the witch. Yeah. I I, I can't really tell what's going on. Uh, kind of. Actually, yeah, it's... Oh, it's a, actually a dragon. Or a well, fucking lizard, sorry, not dragon. No, a dragon. Yeah, it's a lizard. No, you said it was a dragon. Come on, don't lie. Do, 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 do human and, and dwarf want to come over here? Come on. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to get the best deal here? <laughs> oh, shit, I kind of need this belt. Fuck it, I'm going to buy this belt. Fuck you. <laughs> fucking human and dwarf. <laughs> At least you're being equally racist. <laughs> Not a race, speciesist. I mean, or wait, 
I don't fucking care. I just, <laughs> spaghetti, I, spaghetti. I, I just don't care. Could have fooled me. Oh, Are you dumping shit on me? Wooden shoes. The true brew, the trumpet of death. Oh, awesome. With a name like Trumpet of Death, this book is about a plant that speaks to our imagination. Alright, fuck, I'm just gonna balance money, accept, and go. I probably should just end the episode, though. It's like, we've been, we've, we've been at this for 40 minutes-ish. Well, you can't end it yet, because you just got a new skill book. Oh, you're right. Oh, boy. What the fuck is it? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering now. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's okay. It's an alien thing. There you go. You have honey jars. Oh, I don't have enough uh, points in Polymorph. Whatever, I'll get it next time. Next time. Why do, I have to, why do I have just an arrow? Fuck. I don't know. See, a fire slug is never the place. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, yeah. Are we done with this? I think we're done with this. Yeah, I think we're done. Alright, peace out, guys. Bye.